Can I tell a Roy story? You know, the one thing that nobody has mentioned yet is how disgustingly good-looking Roy was. <laughs> the first time I met him was when I auditioned for the band. And we went out to, where's George Fuller? Went out to a warehouse where George had a bunch of uh, radiators or something. I don't know, it had terrible acoustics. <laughs> but I played, and then they went off to talk about me. Then Roy came back over. And he's like, how you doing? I'm like, hey, he's about a foot taller than me, you know. So uh, he said, you know, we'd, we like the way you play. We'd like you to join the band if you'd like to join. And I said, well, sure. Why not? And then on the way home, I was thinking, man, I just, I just joined a band with Magnum P.I. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, who's ever going to look at me? But it worked out. We played... <laughs> We played for a long time, and Roy was Roy and I had a very simpatico vocal style. We harmonized real well. I love singing with him. I love playing with him. Great guy.
the idle hands. Yeah.